Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It is 548. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Robert's joining us now to let us know how the weekend is looking. The weekend looks beautiful. Great. A little bit windy, but beautiful. We got to get through some stronger winds today, but overall I think I'm going to grade this an 8 out of 10 Ooh, weekend. Yeah. I like that. So the pressure's on. Taking a look <laughs> outside right now to Dickinson. It's still dark out there. The winds are picking up, but uh, it's nice and dry for your uh, commute to work this morning. Temperatures right now in Dickinson are in the mid 40s. I believe they're 43 west northwest winds at 10. Your humidity is 68%. Meanwhile, in Minot, you're at 50 degrees and 51 in Williston with a humidity of 44%. And in the magic or in the capital city, excuse me, of Bismarck, 43 degrees. Your wind chill is 39 degrees. Temperatures elsewhere mostly are in the mid to upper 40s. The exceptions being Williston and Minot, both in the lower 40s. As that cold front continues to press through, you are warmer than you were this point yesterday by about on average seven or eight degrees. You can see eight, eight degrees warmer in Bismarck and Garrison, 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday up in Williston, just six degrees warmer in Dickinson than you were at this point yesterday. Those winds are on the increase, especially in northern areas as that cold front slides through. You can see those winds out of the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour across northern areas. You can see Garrison and Minot both 17 miles an hour already. Those gusts approaching 20 to 25 miles an hour. So it is blowing things around out there as you head out the door. And those winds will be on the increase today, mostly out of the north and the northwest. And as we go into the afternoon hours, you can see a lot of those brighter greens and yellows. Those are gusts 25, 35 miles an hour. And they'll be sticking around a good part of the afternoon, even a little bit of red in there, but those winds will subside as we go through the evening and overnight hours. I think uh, winds could impact high school football games tonight, especially the kicking game. But as you wake up tomorrow morning on Saturday, a lot of those, the strongest winds have pushed off to the east. Highs today will range in the upper 50s to lower 60s in spots. 58 in Medora, 59 in Bismarck, further to the north, 55 in Minot, 53 in Rugby, and 55 degrees your high in Harvey. So your overnight forecast for Bismarck and Dickinson looks like this. 31 degrees with those gusty winds out of the northwest gusting to 24 in Minot and Williston about the same 27 quite blustery further to the north. Look at those gusts approaching 40 miles an hour. When you wake up on your Saturday morning temperatures will start out a little bit chilly in the lower 30s before rebounding as we go through the day into the mid and lower 50s. Your extended forecast for Bismarck and Dickinson Looks like this. There are those windy conditions today. Brilliant sunshine as we head through the next five or six days. Our next chance for rainfall, perhaps, and it's only a 20% chance Wednesday into Thursday, but a lot can change. Temperatures will be seasonable across the entire region, including Minot Williston. You can see those temperatures mid 50s as we go through the upcoming work week. So Nice and seasonable, perfect fall weather for you to get out there and enjoy it a little bit, Tim. So many sunshine icons. I yeah, love that. lots of sun and very little rain. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, Robert. We appreciate it. Well, if you're looking for something to celebrate on the 19th of October, that's today. Let's check our national day calendar. Oh, this is the one everyone's looking forward to. Oh, yeah. Seafood Bisque Day. Uh, Robert, are you a big seafood bisque fan? I prefer the crab bisque, so mm, yes, okay. it's very tasty. Okay, very good. You know, uh, we're, we're talking about uh, creamy uh, French origin food. You know, it's got uh, crustaceans and uh, it sounds delicious, I guess. I've actually never had it. Oh, you're missing out. Okay, apparently. It's also National Kentucky Day. Ever been to Kentucky? I've been through Kentucky, but mm -hmm. it, I wouldn't clarify or classify it as a state I'd want to spend a lot of time in, but... It's all right. Wow. It's, it's just Kentucky. Putting Kentucky on blast this yeah, morning. That's My goodness. right. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's what Robert thinks. Sorry to all you Kentucky <laughs> folks out there this morning. <laughs> Plenty of stories uh, coming up on Good Day Dakota, including after 60 years, a much needed upgrade for students in White Shield. We have the details coming up soon.